Hi everyone! In this video we'll learn how to create directories within Google Colab. Within Google Colab, a directory or folder can be created with the graphical user interface, with Bash through the command line interface, CLI, or with scripting using a language such as Python. The directories you create can either be non-persistent, meaning they will be deleted once the Colab runtime resets or is deleted, or persistent, which means saving the directory in Google Colab. What I'm going to do first is import the OS module, which is a Python module that we'll eventually call. Next, we are going to create some non-persistent directories. Using a bash command, we start with an exclamation point, and to get the present working directory, I am going to type pwd. By default, the session's working directory is in the content directory, which is non persistent meaning that once our runtime expires, we will lose any directories that we create. Let's take a look first at how to create a directory with the GUI. I am going to hit the folder icon on the left. Next, I am going to right-click, and I am going to click New Folder. We can also create a folder using bash commands. I am going to call on mkdir, and then I am going to create a folder called folder2. Finally, I am going to create a third folder using the Python OS module. I am going to call os.mkdir and create folder3. Now, let's take a look at what happens to these directories when I delete the runtime within Google Colab. And we can see that they are gone because they are non-persistent. If we want to create persistent directories, we will have to save them into Google Drive. In the top left corner, we have the Google Drive folder here. We need to click it. We need to connect to Google Drive. If this is your first time connecting to Google Drive through Google Colab, you will also be prompted to give permission to Google Colab to access Google Drive and we will see the drive folder pop up. Like before, we can use a GUI to create a folder. I am going to right click on the My Drive. I am going to create a new folder. And like before, we can also use code to generate these folders. I am going to copy the path to My Drive first. And then using both the mkdir bash command and Python code block, we will create the folders. If we refresh, we can see the folders. We can also go into our Google Drive and take a look and see if the folders we were created, which they were. If we go back and if we delete the runtime session, we'll see that even though we delete it, the folders will still, still persist. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you found the video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks again everyone and happy coding.